all right, I need to calm myself down just a little bit. Um, so let's get baking. And we've all seen avo and olive oil being used to bake some of our favorite treats on social media. So why should veggies like butternut be boxed into being a side? Let's make them the hero today. Today we are leveling up our baking game and showing you how to give butternut center stage in a chocolate cake. Da, da, da. The results will astonish you. you da, da, da. I know. I was, waiting. I was hoping you would arrive at that moment. I man. know. You are my dun dun dun. What are we dun dun dun? A, a butternut and chocolate cake. Ooh, my butternut boy. And a chocolate butternut cake. and chocolate cake. And if you think about it for a little while, if you get over that initial shock, it does make sense. All right. Because butternut is sweet, okay? And when you're going to bake it, it's going to caramelize even more within that cake. It's going to get sweeter, yeah? Look at you. Yeah, look at the power there. Look at there. you. Yeah, I, I, I'm just going for the power tools. <laughs> and, uh, and we've given you free reign today. You, you're allowed to use whatever you want. So, buddy, I'm on Frosting Beauty. You're going to get into the cake today, okay? Okay. And you actually don't need the mixer for that. Oh, no, I'm just checking how it works. <laughs> okay, it's quiet. It's a very it nice It is, one. yeah, it's made for TV. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like us, I think, actually. <laughs> so, buddy, it's really simple. We're going to mix the wet and the dry ingredients first for our cake mix. Okay. And look, we've taken a shortcut. We've got a ready mix cake mix, okay? Love it. Don't be shy of the ready mix. The, you know, scientists and bakers, they spend a lot of money developing the best possible balance. Go with it, okay? okay so, so we're going to go with this first. In. Yep. Then, simple... As it is, we're just going to add the butternut, okay? Yeah, this is the most important step. Yep, um, there we go. On, and we're going to add just two tablespoons of our sip up oh, and no. our egg whites. Okay, so I'm going to go... Um, just, you can eyeball it. Okay, um, so wait for it. <laughs> Where dramatic, are you, buddy? Dramatic. There's dramatic one. Dramatic pause. I love it. So while you're getting... That looks perfect. Well done. And if you're looking for... Might a, be a little bit more, but hey. It's all right. You're allowed it. And it's perfectly healthy and delicious as well. And in fact, if you're looking for a drink to keep you going throughout your day, just grab your favorite clover sip up flavor and level up your game. Um, and of course, um, cooking with veggies obviously requires, I think, to get over yourself first. <laughs> and then it's going to open up a whole plethora of new ways of approaching sweet treats, of approaching the balance between umami and sweet and sour. You can have some fun and you're getting the added nutrients. I like it. Do I, is this egg whites? That's egg whites. Does that have to go in there as it's well? It's going in there as well, my friend. Okay. I would love to have a scientific answer for why the egg whites have to go in there. I'm going to say... It binds everything, It buddy. binds and it creates a slightly lighter... No, that's nonsense. This actually, this cake <laughs> is going to be quite dense at the end, which is a good yeah. thing. It's quite um, moist and the butternut obviously lends to that so you want a bit more of a yeah. doughy almost kind of like a brownie texture in the middle so I think that's looking amazing buddy well can, done can you see the whisking skills bro? I know huh? dude. look you're, at that <laughs> your your right arm's gotten a long lot stronger since <laughs> last time I shared wait, some wait, wait. time with you buddy it's look at that, that you're putting in the hard work that looks beautiful man and then it goes into our baking tray 180 for about 40 to 45 minutes okay you can do the skewer test with this one um but nicole our resident uh, kitchen angel says that it's going to have a bit more kind of stickiness so it'll right. probably bring out a little bit more of that yes. center with it so don't be shy you want a bit more of a dense I would okay. think. Do I pour that in there now? Yeah, pour okay. it in there and then it goes in the oven. I'm going to start mixing up our frosting. And for that, we have used, again, our choc chip sip up flavor. Um, Love it. And you know your flavor profile. Obviously, we're going with a chocolate base here, so we want that. Um, and it's as simple as that, guy. Just like that. It's, it's there. It's done. Um, it smells butternutty. <laughs> it does smell butternutty. And you can imagine when those flavors start to combine as yeah. they bake. And as I said, the sugars in that butternut start to caramelize. Mm. That chocolate butternut flavor combo. Perfect. you, the food scientist. Hey, too. absolutely amazing. Hey. And there we have it. We finished it off with a few of our own chocolate flakes. Mm. This is a jumping Buddy. off point. If you want to experiment, push the boat out. Go can crazy. Can I just say man. the food's next level this it morning? Is. I love it, man. So please, if you're going to try this at home, show us. We need to see the results, <laughs> okay? Um, you can see we are a little food obsessed today, and we love it. So if you are going to create something like this and need a bit of a play-by-play, -play, we have got all of the details on our website, expressoshow.com, is where we house all of our culinary mm. brilliance. Go and check it out. I could eat the frosting. Yeah, you want to just eat the frosting? Yeah. yeah? <laughs>
made with love by Clover.